Hey guys, Corey with Palmetto Battery Pros. Today I'm gonna to be converting a 2004 Club Car President from four 12 volt lead acid batteries to a 51 volt 105 amp hour Roy Pal battery. All right, before we get started, uh, let's go over what we have here that comes in the installation kit. We have the 51 and a half volt 105 amp hour, 5.3 kilowatt hour Roy Pal battery. You have your positive, negative post, the RS-485 um, port. This is for the dash mounted voltage meter and wiring harness. So we'll run that to the dash so we can always uh, know where we stand on our charge. It does come with an on off switch we will be mounting this charger on board using this connection piece. And we'll show you how to do that. It does come with a club car mounting bracket. And lastly, we're gonna include, uh, we did uh, come across these from Eco Battery. This is a 110 uh, charge port. So we're gonna go ahead and change out their charge port as well. First thing we're gonna do is remove the lead acid batteries. Always go ahead and put your, your vehicle in tow anytime you're doing any uh, battery maintenance work. All right, I've got the tray mostly clean. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use one 10 millimeter uh, socket to remove this bolt right here so we can remove this panel, which will expose the controller and the OBC is our OBC right here. And here's our Curtis 1510 controller. And just wanna give you a, uh, a little bit of info on this controller. Uh, it does have a 30% fail rate with lithium battery conversions. So uh, I've done these and not had a problem and I've also done them and had to replace the controller. It's happened to me a couple times, so. We're gonna hope for the best for the customer, uh, but we will need to move this center section over to provide space for the battery, which will sit on the passenger side. All right, we are going to completely remove this charging port and replace it with a 110 plug, just to make it easier for the customer. Um, so I went ahead and removed the three screws here in the back, pulled it out, and then I also went ahead and disconnect, did this ground, pulled this cover back to get to the, the front side of the port. And to do that, there are three star bolts, one in the middle and one on each side that need to be removed. remove the old charging port you have uh, their little star star nuts in there and you're gonna need to uh, there's three of them you're gonna want to go ahead and remove those and pull this old charging port out of the way all right so I did get this uh, this new charging port uh, from eco it's a 110 and it's just gonna slide right into place. And we're going to screw it back in and it'll be good to go. Now that the charge port is finished uh, and I have the floorboard kind of disassembled and up, I'm gonna go ahead and run the wiring harness for the voltage meter. Yeah. 
you'll want to take off, uh, there's three uh, star bolts, star bit bolts uh, here, here, and here, and this will release the dash. This customer already has a voltage meter. Uh, I'm gonna try to use this space right here for his new Roy Powell voltage meter, and then I'll hook this up. This one was already removed. It's a little bit smaller, I don't know why, just to be a pain. But now you can just kind of safely go ahead and work your dash out. Unplug the old one, it's just screwed in. We're gonna need to go ahead and widen this. Uh, so I am going to just get a razor blade and just widen this hole up just enough for it to fit the new one. We have our Roy Powell voltage meter in. I'm gonna go ahead and use the uh, bolt and nut that came with it. I'm gonna secure it to the dash and we'll go ahead and put the dash back in. Plug your voltage meter up with the wire that we just, uh, the wiring harness that we just ran from the battery box. Plugged up. Now we're ready to reinstall. And you're just gonna have to, you're just gonna have to get it up in there, keep playing with the wires until you get everything kind of put back up in there properly. You can have wires hanging out. It can be difficult, but if you keep working at it, you'll get it. All right, your uh, plastic cover just pops right on. So go ahead and replace that and uh, put your mat back underneath and you're good to go with the charging port. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and do the OBC bypass now that we have the everything put back in place. Next thing you wanna do is cut both of these grounds. And if you wanna save the OBC, give yourself a little bit um, of room there. But go ahead and snip both of these. Just connect this guy right here and then we're gonna snip all of these wires, leaving, I, I like to go about halfway. That way I can uh, reuse this OPC if I need to. Cover these ends. I don't need to use any of these, but I do need to butt connect the blue and the white wires. So I'm going to butt connect these two and cap all these off. And then I'm gonna plug it back in to the wiring harness here and that portion's done. All right, we are going to be replacing the positive and negative main cable ends. So I'm gonna go ahead and crimp that off. Pull it through the OBC using a 10 millimeter socket we can go ahead and remove the obc completely here's what your wiring harness should look like when you're finished blue and white crimped together i did go ahead and cap this negative r this ground off all right, now that the OBC is bypassed, we need to move this whole plate over to make room for the battery. At this point, I've made space and I'm able to move this whole panel back. I thought about it and I wanna do a really good job. So I wanna run these wires properly. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a, a good size hole here. And instead of running my, cab my cables going to the motor, uh, I'm gonna reroute those and run them out of this hole and to the controller where they go here. And then I'm also going to modify the cover a little bit to allow this to get in there. And I'll show you how I'll do that. That way I can set my cover down on top. It'll look good. And I'll also be able to secure this panel to the cart where it's not gonna move around. One thing I'm gonna to have to do is 
there is a little bracket here in the bottom and as you can see I can't um, this won't slide all the way down so I'm actually gonna cut a groove in this bracket right here so this panel will slide all the way down and that'll also help secure it keep it from vibrating now I've made uh, my marks on both sides uh, where I want this panel to slide down into there uh, so now I'm just gonna use my grinder and uh, I'm gonna make that cut Perfect. Go ahead and disconnect this guy from the motor, pull it back through into the battery box, and what we're gonna do is, uh, once I make my hole here, put all of these guys, I'm gonna run this one back down to the motor. You have everything else uh, hooked back up. It looks like this 16 pin, orange, blue, four pin. Got your mains hooked up, solenoid re hooked up, OBC is gone. We've replaced the charging port. We've run our voltage meter wiring harness to the dash and installed our voltage meter. All right, at this point, we're gonna need to go ahead and um, install our 12 volt reducer for our lights and any other 12 volt accessories the customer wants to hook up. Um, this blue wire, you should have seen it on your battery bank uh, on a positive. It is the power for your lights, your tw but it is 12 volt. So do not hook it up to the 48 volt or the 51 volt battery we're gonna to need to install a 12 volt reducer and hook these up to 12 volt. So this is your positive and your negative is coming out of this harness and it's running directly to your controller. We are going to disconnect it here, leave this and we're gonna extend some wire using the same end connector. And then we are going to run this end to the 12 volt reducer. And we will run both our ground and our hot to our 12 volt reducer. Okay, now we're ready to go ahead and mount the battery, the voltage reducer and the onboard charger. So to do that, we need to notch out a couple things in this battery tray. Um, I made some marks here. I'm gonna be uh, removing these items, shaving them down with the grinder. And that way, everything mounts properly down uh, and level down to the battery box. All right, I have notched everything out in the battery tray that needed to be notched out. So uh, my battery mounting bracket, it sits flush down in the bottom. My charger is in a good safe place over here. Uh, I'm gonna be uh, mounting it there. And then my 12 volt reducer, I'm going to mount right here out of the way. And it should look really nice. Now that everything has been installed and mounted to the, the battery cart, we're ready to start hooking everything up. First thing I'm gonna do is I went ahead and, and did some of this wire management earlier but I added some um, male bullet ends to the reducer output. The output is the, the black and yellow. The input is black and red. So here is my negative, then please excuse the wire colors, but here is the uh, negative to my lights. I'm gonna go ahead and plug those up. And I use these just in case the customer wants to add some more 12 volt accessories he can uh you know just splice on this end he doesn't have to keep cutting the uh the reducer side and the blue is actually my positive to my lights go ahead and plug those in now we're going to set our roy pal battery in 
and the holes are gonna line up. And we'll use the provided hardware to secure the battery to the mounting bracket. Here's what we're gonna be hooking up to the battery. On the positive side, you have your main positive from your uh, controller, from this, I'm sorry, from the solenoid. Um, next up, you have your main positive from your 12 volt reducer. Uh, we're probably gonna have to extend this a little bit. So, uh, you can see it's not reaching. So we are gonna extend it a little bit. We're gonna be crimping this. And the third item that we'll hook up will be the positive or the brown side of the onboard charger connector. This is gonna uh, connect our charger directly to the battery. So these are the three positives. 12 volt reducer, your main positive, and the positive from the uh, charger. And on the negative side, we have our main negative, which is running directly to our controller. We have the negative for our 12 volt reducer. And we also have the negative, which is the blue side, from the onboard charge connector that goes to our charger. We're completely hooked up. Everything is mounted. Definitely run your voltage cable, wiring harness, there you go. All right, now we're completely hooked up. We're gonna do some wire management. Uh, first thing we need to do is we need to hook up the onboard charger using this connection piece right here and your output wire. Go ahead and match those up. Plug it in. And we'll need to do some wire management here. I'll give you an overview of what, of what I'm gonna do. I have some room here and also have some room in here that I could use. Uh, I also have another issue I have the cable that Roy Pal provides, but there's a lot of extra cable there. So I may have something a little less, uh, something not as long. If I don't, I'm gonna use this. And... All right, the finished product. And just to give you some reference, show you what's hooked up. Uh, the main positive, main negative. You have your onboard charger connect and the 12 volt reducer for your lights. Everything's mounted inside using nut and bolt. And I did come back and nut and bolt the, uh, the battery pack down to the frame to give it some more st stability. It was a little wobbly with just the self tapping screw. So use the, the nut and bolts. Um, I did replace the charge uh, receptacle with a 110. I'll show you the charging here in a second at the very end. Um, I did move the run tow switch, the controller, the solenoid, moved all those down so I could fit the battery in. This is what it looks like in the tray. Again, you're gonna have to keep modifying this plastic piece until it fits like you want it to. Now we're ready to test drive. Let's go ahead and turn this battery on. Hold the main switch down for about three or four seconds. It'll come on. Put your golf cart in run. And now we are ready for a test drive. See our voltage meter is working. And let's double check our lights. Our lights are definitely working. So let's go ahead and take this thing for a test drive. Thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions, please uh, leave them in the comments below. We'll be sure to answer them. And uh, we look forward to seeing you next time. We're gonna be doing some more carts coming up in the future with Eco and Roy Powell and maybe some different type lithium. So keep uh, a lookout and subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you next time. Thank you.